Hello, for today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about statically equivalent systems. So, two sets of forces are considered statically equivalent if they cause either the same linear ang and angular accelerations, or if they would cause the same set of reaction forces and moments when applied to a body. So, in this way, the two sets of forces are considered interchangeable uh, for statics and dynamics problems. Uh, statics for the reactions, dynamics for the accelerations. Um, and in engineering analysis, we'll often use statically equivalent systems to replace a complex set of forces with a much simpler single force and single uh, moment to make later analysis easier. All right, so here are, is an example of a statically equivalent system. Uh, so imagine we've got a kind of balance beam. Uh, if we put one 200 pound man in the center of the balance beam, uh, as opposed to two 100 pound uh, children on either side of the beam, they'd wind up causing the same reaction. So down here you can see I've got 100 pounds supporting either side. Uh, over here I've got the same 100 pounds supporting on either side. So these this 200 pound force and this evenly distributed 100 pound force uh, would be considered statically equivalent because they cause the same reactions. Uh, if we had a free floating beam, we'd have the same accelerations uh, as well as this thing moved through space. So to determine if two sets of forces are statically equivalent, we have several options. Uh, first, we could determine the accelerations caused by each set of forces and compare them. So if the two accelerations, angular and linear, are the same, uh, then these are statically equivalent. Second, we could determine if the reaction forces caused by each set of forces uh, is the same and compare them. Uh, so we're going to kind of calculate the supporting forces like we had with our balance beam. Uh, if all of those reaction forces and moments are the same, then our forces are statically equivalent. And finally, uh, this is the one that is the easiest and probably the, uh, the one you should uh, go to. Uh, we could add all of the force vectors in each case. So add all the force vectors in situation one, add all the force vectors in situation two. Compare those force vectors. We need the same net force on the object. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing with the net moment about the same point uh, on the body for each set of forces. So pick the same point on in either situation, take the moments about that point, uh, and the net moment in both cases should be the same. So if we have the same sum of forces, the same sum of moments, uh, then the two sets of forces and moments are going to be statically equivalent. All right, that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.